the heart's just a continuous, it's just continuously pumping, you know, I mean, it's, it's not a true heart, it's artificial, but it's keeping me alive right now, and I'm just so thankful for that. Now for an inspiring local story you'll only see on 4 News Now. Spokane offers some of the greatest health care of the world that has to offer. And one man now has a second shot at life because of that care. Emily Bloom has this exclusive story. This is Greg Somakill. He's a family man with a big heart, but earlier this year that heart was hanging on by a thread. Thanks to the remarkable team at Sacred Heart Hospital, he was given a very unique option. <laughs> Hospital departures are special for most, but for Greg Somakil and his team, this one is extraordinary. Greg has spent the better part of this year in the hospital. My grandkids, they're the big part of this. And he had quite a few visits there over the past few years leading up to this most recent stay. That's what uh, kept my drive going. On his departure last week, he left with something crucial strapped to his back. Well, they call it the freedom driver. It keeps my heart pumping. It's a pneumatic pump. Um, none of this would be possible. This artificial heart at just 13 pounds is his lifeline. I'm a walking, stalking proof that a person can live with a total artificial heart here. To understand how he got here, let's take a look back a few years ago at where Greg's long journey began. I can remember the paramedic saying your heart is not very happy with you. Doctors tried a pacemaker and defibrillator and it lasted only a few days. Came to see the rhythm doctor and he said we're going to refer you over to the heart failure team. And it didn't really click to me so much right at that point. From there it was a balloon pump and echo but to no avail. Our last choice was kind of either pull the plug or Go for the total, total artificial heart. Sounds easy the way he says it. But what Greg isn't telling you is that he's one of only 28 people in the world who have a total artificial heart right now. I had the fight in me, and that's the only thing that kept me alive. That that's give me a second chance here at life. I was excited because I was grateful that we have the opportunity here at this institution to to actually be able to use this device. Despite world class training leading up to this point, Dr. Christy Smith admits it was nerve wracking walking into that eight hour surgery. Right now, the Syncardia Cardio West Heart Artificial Heart, which is the one he has, is for bridge to transplant therapy. So this is not the end of Greg's journey, most patients have the artificial heart for a few years before getting a heart transplant. He can have this for years if he needs to, but I don't want him to have it for that long. I want him to get his heart. And when the right heart becomes available to him, he'll be looking at a more long-term solution. I tell our patients all the time that right heart is waiting for you. It's out there. There are some hearts that were meant to go around twice and we'll find the right one. And when it's meant to be, it'll happen. After all he's been through, he's willing to wait. Good things come in time, that's all I can say. I've been doing this since 2003, and I can tell you I've never once had a patient not get that transplant heart come through right when they needed it. His fortitude has taken him this far. Greg has been successful just because of how much stamina, grit, just personal desire to get better. And there's no doubt he'll persevere with the other hurdles ahead. Uh, without the fight, I probably would have not, not made it through this. Dr. Smith aims to get her patients back to their normal lives. I'm back to their families, back to real life, and this is this is everything we could hope for. Very, very grateful to have a second chance at life here. So what is Greg looking forward to most with round two? I just love burning gas, that's all. And just, I get enjoyment seeing the kids jump off the boat, riding on the inner tube. That gives me the the most enjoyment out of everything. He's ready to take that Freedom Rider boating, hunting, fishing, and camping alongside his family. Boat belongs to them. I'm just a driver. <laughs> Greg told me his first few days at home have been great. They rearranged some furniture so he could get around the house easily, and he's checking the forecast daily to spot our next warm and sunny day to get out on the water. Emily Bloom, 4 News Now.